<coughs> Thank you for your questions. In the in a choice, let me put it like this, in a choice sub region, although I'm the chair of the RP, actually religious leaders peace initiative, we generally want to carry it together. <clears throat> we want to carry it together as a truly religious leaders peace initiative. For example, the issue of a power. We have had some meetings, but they were not covered by press. No, this one. It was what we call a, a low profile advocacy. Low profile advocacy. <clears throat> we did that with uh, some of the political leaders in, uh, in Mali. And then with also the chiefs of money. Then we also brought the attention of the, our chiefs here in Achuri. But we were not, we didn't want to feature in the prominence, but we remained at the background. Individually, I for one, Some year back, I slept in a pub for three nights. This was not recorded anywhere. Not because I didn't want it to be known by the people. No. It was not purely for publicity. I was doing my normal pastoral work. As a truly religious leaders peace initiative, we sought to have prayer there, combining the people of Germany and we this side here. So our interest for the issue of our power is still there. I know when we had celebration at India, which is in the area of Germany, I spoke at it twice. It was covered in the papers. I said, people, in trying to address the issue of APA, don't leave the population of APA. They have a stake in the issues of APA. And many of them are very strongly convinced that the issue is not with them, people who are there, who have been there. From, one of the elders told us they were there from 1929 when Uganda was not a nation. They were already living together. But why is it now that this issue has not been settled for so long, yet they are well-integrated group, the well-integrated tribe, Mali, actually, they know the language of each other. <laughs> they speak at any time. Those of Mali can speak actually. Those of actually can speak Mali. They are in-laws, they are uncles, they are what? They are relatives, actually, basically. But there are many other factors which are inside there. Some of you may know because you want to cover some of those events. Then on the issue of the outcome of this celebration, what will it be? I think bringing people from different sectors, as I call it, together, bringing them together to sit side by side, the different tribes, the different religious groups, the different political groups, bringing them to sit side by side, that is already a promotion. And within this um, Ghana prayer this week, what he was announcing, people had already started to sleep in the homes of their friends. For example, let me pick three places. When we had a celebration in Nebi Center, 
The people around get their houses for their brothers from any of the areas. Many slept at home instead of going to a, a school or something. This was one. Another, here in Kitgo, when there was a, an event of uh, praying there, the people also offered their homes, quite a good number. And people went to sleep at home. Then one very, very significant thing which happened was this. There was one person who was sick. He fell sick there. And the people gathered to make contribution for his treatment. And not only that, he was taken to Lacho. Unfortunately, he died. The people gathered contribution to pay for the taking of the body from Lacho up to Lodoma. That is in the area of Baringa, the other side. And the people there appreciated this gesture. Then we went to Lira in the area of the, uh, we call it the Lang College, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Lang College. In that event, I think three tribes made an agreement of resolving their past. We had the Kakwa, we had the Acholi, we had the Nani. They came openly apologizing to one another. And this was now augmented by the really, what they call them, the cultural leaders. They came and reinforced this, and there was even a common statement made by them. These were some of the achievements. We could go on, there are many, there are many. These are just some few highlights. Then what about the issue of Karamoja and, the, and our people here, cattle rescue? <coughs> SRP were engaged. As the Catholic community, we have had the meeting with the people of Karamoja, the Bishop of Cotido and the Bishop here, we had a meeting. Not only, we had also prayer. His prayer. prayer. And the border there, the place, I don't remember actually the name. Cameron. 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 Yes, Cameron. In that place there was a prayer. And the people said, this is the right way of going. They appreciated this contribution. It was only with the, the Catholics only. But we said, no, we should go beyond this. And therefore, they agreed that we should have border meeting. Karamoja, Lam, Acholi. And what was, there was another, another clan also. I think there were about four of them. We were still to continue with them. So those are some achievements we can do. I, I, I could have talked about so many of the things. I think those were the ones you asked. <coughs> uh, also, I went and I prayed at uh, Rome, where I told the people very clearly, you can <coughs> The people of Acholi are your brothers, they are your in-laws, they are your relatives. So don't do wrong to them. Don't rob them of their cows. Live in peace with one another. And I was so strong, I sounded very strong. In any case, there are many other occasions which we have had already, but not all are reported. As I said before, <laughs> uh, the issue of peace is not 